stumbled upon this video because you have a toddler and I know that <laughs> and you're having hard time dealing with a toddler. No problem. Don't worry. Everybody wants to work only when I'm working. <laughs> when I'm lazing around, nobody wants to work. <laughs> Fine. So today, let's discuss about the foods and the drinks that you should not give to your toddlers and babies. There are a big no, no, do, do, no, no. And hey, if you're new to this channel, I'm Tina. I'm a health psychologist and mother of a premature baby. So in this channel, we'll be discussing a lot about premature babies, their weight gain tips, their formula feeding, their food, some recipes, and we also share some milestones. I'll also give me I'll also be giving frequent updates of Olive's growth and development. And recently, guess what? Olive learned to stand all by herself. And if you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch that video. It is so fun. We had so much fun uh, practicing to stand alone. So do check out that. Oops, I forgot to mention the best comment in my previous video, to put it in my previous video. So I'm going to put two this time. So this is for the previous, previous video and this is for my previous video. <laughs> Best comment. <laughs> Starting with the first point, that is don't give honey. Honey is so sweet, but it's not for your babies. It has some microbes or something that, in, uh, that is present in it. So better avoid it before first birthday. I've done my research, enough research, and I understood that honey is not good for babies and we need to avoid that completely. Before going further into this video, please go ahead and click the subscribe button and the bell icon next to it. Please. The second food that you should avoid giving to your baby is unpasteurized food that is raw milk or anything that is not boiled enough especially raw milk it has certain bacteria in it which is very very harmful even for everybody not only for babies or toddlers so make sure you thoroughly boil the milk and only then give it to your babies the third food that we all know but we still tend to give to our babies and toddlers that is foods with added sugar that is very, very harmful for the developing teeth of your baby. So please do avoid any soft drinks, biscuits, chocolates, cold drinks, uh, flavored milk, yogurts, and uh, sweeteners, artificial flavoring sweeteners or whatever it is, uh, white sugar. That's a big no, no. The next food that you need to avoid giving to your babies is added salt food with added salt something like preservatives which has a lot of preservatives canned food processed food chips fries uh, anything that has excessive salt in it so just avoid it it's not good for your baby and especially babies during you know before 12 months of age they don't need salt and sugar because they can naturally eat the natural food. They don't need any flavoring. So you don't need to add all those things excessively. It's okay if you're adding it in the curries, in some preparation of the food in moderate levels, it's fine, but not beyond. And sugar, it's a big no, no. I don't give sugar to olive at all. Instead, I always replace sugar with jaggery you have seen in all my recipes and if you're new you don't know my recipes please go ahead and watch my cooking with mom playlist over here the next food or drink to avoid is cow's milk we have already discussed about this in detail why you should be avoiding cow's milk you can watch this video and then you'll find out why you should avoid giving cow's milk and hey, if you're the mother of a toddler or a baby, please do comment down below. What is the favorite food of your baby? I really like to know it. I've even asked that in the live session. Only Zeba has answered it. So I request all your mothers to please go ahead and leave a comment down below of what is the favorite food of your baby because I would like to know and I would also like to try it with Olive. The next item is very surprising. Actually, Many of, the, uh, many of us think it's very healthy, that is fruit juices. That is fruit juices, but 
it's actually a no-no. It's better to give whole food that is mashed or chopped in a form of fruit instead of juice. That is more helpful for the baby to get all the nutrients from that particular food. So avoid juices and give whole fruit, especially before 12 months. And now that is summer, you can give juices, but make sure you do not add any artificial flavoring or white sugar in it. Last but not the least, the caffeinated drinks. They are a big no-no even for adults. Even we shouldn't have them as much as people do. We need to avoid and if you are giving to your babies, please for heaven's sake stop giving that. They are very harmful for those little bodies to handle. So caffeinated drinks are soft drinks and tea, coffee and even sports drinks. Okay, so they're very high in um, uh, protein values or nutrient values. They're very high, which they cannot digest. So please try to avoid these foods. So we have come to the end of this video. I hope you all liked it and enjoyed it. And you always keep these things in your mind while you're feeding food to your baby. And if you haven't checked out my Instagram, my Facebook page and my Patreon page, please go ahead and join them right after this video because there are tons of fun stuff going on there. So I'll see you all in the next video. Until then, take care of yourself and take care of your little ones. Bye-bye.